Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I am going to smoke a pork shoulder butt in the Masterbuilt Butterball Turkey Fryer. I did some research, really couldn't find any videos on how to do that. And it's an oil-free turkey fryer. So I'm gonna attempt it. And uh, this will be an extensive vlog on how to smoke a pork shoulder butt. First things first, uh, the pork shoulder butt is not from the butt. It's from the shoulder of the pig. When the butchers, back in the old days, uh, there was a lot of fat on the shoulder. So the butchers would take it and throw it into a barrel. The barrels were actually called the butts. So they would take this undesirable portion of the uh, pig and toss it over into the butt. That's why it's called a pork shoulder butt. Or Boston butt, if you will. But I ain't in Boston. I'm in Colorado. And here is the pork shoulder butt. So first thing I'm gonna do tonight is uh, I'm gonna, I bought this rub, but guess what? I'm gonna use some of it, but I've got my own stuff. Oh, secret Team Chisholm recipe. So I'm gonna do my own rub on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna let it sit in the marinade for, I don't know, overnight. In the morning, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna let it get to room temperature and then I will put it in the Butterball Master Built Oil Free Turkey Fryer. Maybe I should show you that. some other stuff to it okay so not just what's in here listed but this says it locks in flavor and it's applewood and the chips I'm using in my smoker are mesquite chips so I want this thing to be like smoky applewoody whatever anyway so let's just get to it I'm just gonna pour it right on um oh you know what before I do that I forgot one thing hang on Good old Earl. I'm gonna Earl it down, help the uh, stuff stick to it real well. And I'm gonna be super liberal about this. You want it to have a nice coloring to it and uh, because it's pork and it should have that nice red tint to it. <clears throat> this is a bone-in pork shoulder butt. Oh, look at that, look at that. That just looks awesome. And while I'm doing this, and while I add uh, the uh, the secret Team Chisholm recipe also on this, how about a word from our sponsors? This is our secret formula. I can actually show you, but I can't tell you what it is. Otherwise, I'd have to kill you. And I don't know who's watching, so that would just be a waste of my time. So I'm gonna sprinkle a lot of this on there. I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing with a whole bunch of other spices I have over here that you can't see. So have at it. By the way, new clean gloves. Uh, make sure you have a meat thermometer. You'll need one of those. That'll give it a nice bark to it. There you have it. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for until in the morning, probably about eight o'clock. I'm gonna throw it in that butter ball and six to eight hours later, we'll see how it looks. This is an experiment. It's, it's, it was on sale. So I didn't spend a, a ton. 
ton of money on this. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm stoked. By the way, a little shout out to my friend Chris Morrill, who'll probably never see this because he's not on social media. Um, He was smoking some stuff the other day, and I was like, I bet I could do that in my Butterball electric turkey fryer. I'm about to find out. About to find out. All right, it's been a long day. I want to show you something. This is what you want it to look like. Well, I really don't know what you want it to look like because I've never done this in a oilless Butterball turkey fryer. But I do know that when you're uh, smoking a piece of meat, especially a pork shoulder butt, I just like saying butt, um, that you want to see that fat kind of bust open. So check this out. It is up to about 180. That's looking delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, wrap it in foil, let it rest for a bit, about an hour, and then pull it apart. See you then. I'm shredding the pork and it tastes fantastic. Nice and moist. Haven't gotten down to the bone yet, but um, yeah, so this. <laughs> shredded it's super moist and I would do this again it is delicious so this is a pork shoulder butt um, rubbed I let that sit overnight um, put it in the turkey fryer it's essentially a roaster um, I kept it on medium heat uh, for most of the day from like 1230 to 730 maybe 8 and uh, then I kicked up the heat towards the end just a bump it kept sitting right around 170 uh, kicked it up to about 190 um, and yeah then took it out and let it rest for about an hour and a half and just started shredding it and it looks and tastes amazing I just, I just don't know that I can eat all this meat I will have the meat sweats Whew. look at all that all that glorious meat I guess I just need to make myself a midnight snack. In 15 minutes, it'll be midnight. Yep. Whew. All right, well, I got two friends here that can help me. Right, Royal? And Bosco? Y'all are just wagging your tail. You're just hoping, but guess what? Nah, I'm not sharing. That's it. This was a good experiment.